Hello everybody, to our project presentation of 3D Vision, a way to convert geodata to 3D products. We start from existing data models, city models, from airborne laser scanning data, mobile laser scanning data, as well as aerial images, make automated reconstructions of city models and tree models, have to do some cleaning to get out 3D meshes of buildings and vegetation, and apply a texturing with solar potential simulations, to have at the end printable models as well as textured 3D models. The building models themselves, they are based on building footprints, a digital terrain model to have con connection to the ground, as well as the urban laser scanning point clouds. We apply a data-driven model approach to get out the geometry plus many semantic attributes. The 3D vegetation models are extracted by a um, segmentation approach on a raster basis, transferred to the point cloud and uh, then uh, 3D hulls per tree are constructed. For high resolution mobile laser scanning data we have got also the possibility to reconstruct each stem and its branches. The models are then textu textured by radiation simulations and uh, texture Atlants are constructed to map the radiation for each facade of a building, for example. All GIS data are then converted to OBJ and FBX. At the end, we have set up a Unity project with the solar irradiation for the buildings, facades, the trees, as well as the ground too cover the topic of the urban heat island. Thank you for your attention. Hello everyone. From an architectural standpoint, we analyze urban heat islands through two different city scales, 1 to 1000 and 1 to 200. Um, we looked at data we got from laser data and investigated different uh, climatic parameters and layers using Rhino, Grasshopper, Ladybug, Unity, Phologram and Euphorium. In the urban scale model, we augmented, um, for example, different irradiation maps of trees, uh, ground and buildings. Um, it is from the 4th of um, August so the hottest day of the year and um, the 17th of January, the coldest one in order to determine the comparison. Um, one can zoom around the city model from different parts, also pan around it and turn different areas and um, informations on and off, as well as vegetation simulations like the wind direction that we got from um, Rhino CFD, as well as the vector field that um, it generates and the, the textured mesh. So um, this was the urban scale augmented model. On a competition city model scale, we literally brought the model on the discussion table by using phologram in relation to Rhino and Grasshopper. And um, it was very interesting to change different parameters and adjust solar radiation to different months intervals. Um, and in this case, um, the sun hours also in different months intervals and just be able to see very quickly results in, in specific areas of the city. So this was our project, 3D Vision, a project that is funded by the Austrian Research Promotion Agency in the frame of the COIN network line, um, a project that supports the city of Vienna in the fight against urban heat islands. Thank you for your attention.